So next one, the second compound you write down here, that is oxide, oxide formation. Write down the elements of group 15, the elements of group 15 forms, forms three types of oxide. Forms three types of oxides. Okay. The first type we have that is trioxides. Okay, so it can form X2O3 types of oxides. It can also form X2O4. It can also form X2O5. These three types of oxides it forms. Okay, so with X2O3, the oxides that we have for nitrogen is N2O3. Phosphorus O3 and Bi2O3. These are the oxides it forms. Similarly, for X2O4, it is N2O4, P2O4, AS2O4, SB2O4, and Bi2O4. And the last one we have here, P2O5, A, S2O5, SB2O5, and Bi2O5. Three types of oxide is forms. Okay. Okay. Now, the acidic nature of these oxides is important. Okay, acidic nature of these oxides. For the oxides of same element, like nitrogen can form N2O3, N2O4, N2O5. So if you have to compare the acidic strength of, of the oxides of same element, like N2O3, O4, O5, P2O3, P2O4, P2O5. So acidic nature of the oxides of same element increases as percentage oxygen character increases. Basically, what you have to keep in mind, and it is only for oxides of same element, okay? Number of oxygen atom more, acidic nature will be more, okay? So N2O3, N2O4, N2O5 may, N2O5 ka acidic nature kya hoga? Maximum hoga, right? So that is why as you go this way of these oxides, acidic nature, increases ठीक है acidic nature increases okay next you write down the acidic nature for a particular type of oxides the Acidic nature for a particular type of oxides decreases decreases as we go down the group. Okay. So for N2O3, P2O3, AS2O3, SB2O3 and all. If I go this way, down the group for a particular type of oxides, okay? So if you go this way, down the group for a particular type of oxide, whether it's trihalide, tetra, trioxide, tetraoxide, or pentoxide, the acidic nature decreases. Acidity decreases. Tendency to accept electron is less because electronegativity is less and size is also more, okay? So for a particular type of oxide, down the group, if you go, acidic behavior decreases. And for the oxides of same element, as percentage of oxygen character increases, acidity increases. Okay. There are some facts you should know um, about these oxides because this is important. For nitrogen 
oxide it forms various different different types of oxide i'll write down the order of acidity of nitrogen oxide so write down acidity of nitrogen oxides it is minimum for n2o and then we have no after this we have n2o3 n2o4 n2o5 sorry this way no n2o5 this is the order we have okay see a S two O three and S B two O three, A S two and S B two O three, they exist in dimer form. Okay, write down A S two O three and S B two O three exist in dimer form. Like A uh, S four O six dimer of A S two O three. sb 406 dimer of sb203 okay so these oxides are amphoteric in nature that also you write down this is amphoteric ye question they ask in exam which of these are amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides okay bi203 is a basic oxide so basic character of these oxides increases down the group that's the same thing acidic character increases so basic character decreases so basic character increases just reverse way okay but you must keep this in mind that as2o3 sb2o3 exists in a dimer form and they are amphoteric oxides okay phosphorus oxides it is important to know the structure of phosphorus oxide i'll draw the structure here write down structure of of p4o6 p4o6 is what it is a dimer of p2o3 okay and p4o10 o6 o10 o8 also we see p4o6 P four O eight, P four O ten. Important is P four O six and P four O ten. The structure here is sir? all the phosphorus atom. Sir. Hmm. So why isn't uh, bismuth uh, more basic than nitrogen? what we have discussed uh, so you said the, uh, it has more uh, more electron density no no see oxides of any type whether it's tri tetra or penta theek hai down hmm. the group if you are going think acidic nature is what acidic nature is decreasing why because electronegativity is decreasing tendency to accept electron is less nitrogen to accept electron maximum no theek hai so lewis acid of these oxides behavior decreases down the group so when acidity decreases what we can say basicity increases that's why you can also say down the group as you go basic character will be more okay sir got it yeah now the structure of this p4o6 see in all these oxides phosphorus atoms are joined together by uh, this thing uh, by oxygen okay between two phosphorus atom one oxygen is present so you see here suppose we ha i have drawn one phosphorus here another one here and one here so all these phosphorus atom are joined together by one oxygen like this this is the first thing you should know how many oxygen four how many we have six so the other two phosphorus like this it is connected with the two oxygen this way this is p4o6 
clear between two phosphorus atom one oxygen present can you tell me how many lone pair and bond pair of electrons are there in this or how many sigma bond and how many lone pair phosphorus atom how many lone pair bolo phosphorus when phosphorus attaches with three bonds how many lone pair one ns3 has one ps3 has one so each phosphorus atom you see it has attached with three bonds correct so each phosphorus atom there is one lone pair present this is one thing here also we have one lone pair here also we have one lone pair so phosphorus has one lone pair each oxygen atom has two lone pair so if they ask you how many total lone pairs are present okay you have to add all these okay if they ask you how many lone pairs present on the phosphorus atom then it will be four okay so this question they ask in the exam in p406 how many lone pairs are present on phosphorus how many total lone pairs are there what is the sum of lone pair of electrons present on phosphorus and sigma bond okay so all these things if you know the structure you can find it out okay so this p p4 o6 p4 o10 is what these lone pair when it is donated to the oxygen atom right so you'll get p4 o10 so the structure is this let me draw the structure i'll explain that it is p4 o6 here we have same thing all the phosphorus atom are joined together with oxygen this way oxygen this way and when this lone pair is donated to oxygen you'll get a coordinate bond here o coordinate bond here o so this is p4 o8 you see two phosphorus atom attached with oxygen like this. so it is p4 o8 continue if you continue this one oxygen here one oxygen here it gives you p4 o10 okay p4 o10 where these bonds are coordinate bond so how many coordinate bonds are there if the question is there are four coordinate bond understood okay now one more thing is important here that in some book all of you have drawn this structure tell me guys yes in some book what happened in some book the structure is this uh, let me just fix it this is oxygen oxygen this is oxygen this is phosphorus this is oxygen okay in some book what happens in instead of this coordinate in this this uh, like this arrow they draw the structure this way just i'll remove this of this and they have given phosphorus with a double bond oxygen phosphorus with a double bond oxygen phosphorus with a double bond oxygen and phosphorus with a double bond oxygen okay so this is uh, written in the book this double bond but this, this is not the uh, we we don't consider this a double bond this is a coordinate bond also for the third elements of third period okay for elements of third period third period elements the coordinate bond is represented by the coordinate bond is preferably re represented by represented by like this double bond so don't get confused with this in the book if you see a bond written like this these are coordinate bond only not a double bond okay so keep that in mind
because coordinate bond we usually consider as um, a covalent bond, this type of covalent bond only. Okay, so this P double bond O also a coordinate bond, not a double bond. You must keep that in mind. Okay, so they have asked questions on these two structures many times in the exam. They may ask you how many coordinate bonds are there. They may ask you regarding lone pair. They may ask you regarding sigma electrons or sigma bond present. Okay, so the structure you must remember.